They've finally done it. Roblox has gone too far. I feel like we complain about them every single day. We never step out of this negativity. This little bubble of complaining about Roblox that we have created, we have been living in it for a very long time. So what could you possibly class as Roblox going too far? Well, I am about to show you. Please everyone brace yourselves for what I am about to tell you and show you for everything that you are about to witness and hear me say. You're gonna need to sit down for this one because after over 11 years, Roblox's jeans and black slacks have both quintupled in price. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. I know that Roblox inflation has been going on for a very long time and also some of the increases that we have seen have been terrible, but to hear that something has quintupled in price sounds absolutely horrible. How can we possibly get over something that has quintupled in price? Like what could this new price possibly be? Well, I am about to show you. The first one, simply just called jeans, this avatar item, this clothing item was originally one Robux, which means that it's now five Robux. That is quintupled in price. <sighs> I know, it's so hard to go through this. I am so sorry that I am having to be the bearer of bad news. I know that all of you watching right now are already absolutely in tears by now, but we have to keep moving, okay? I am so sorry. We have to keep going forward. The flow of time waits for no one or whatever that one very very sad movie said black slacks these also were originally one robux in price meaning that they are now five robux in price they have quintupled in price both of them have quintupled <sighs> the jeans and the black slacks both of them originally one robux now being five robux which means that roblox has officially gone too far. When will Roblox inflation end? This is the worst thing that we have ever seen them do. And as Creekcraft rightfully said, he was very correct to say this, nobody will be able to afford it now. And that's true because how do we go from one Robux to five Robux, these absolutely outrageous, ridiculous prices that no one could ever possibly afford? So, I mean, besides everything that we just said, I know that a lot of people probably don't even know what either of these items were. And I will say that I'm pretty sure that they were the last clothing on the entirety of Roblox that were like below the price floor that they introduced quite a while ago actually. Because originally when Roblox first started adding the catalogue and clothing and even when I joined Roblox in 2011, clothing could be sold for literally any price. It could be one Robux, it could be one ticks, which by the way, one ticks doesn't even translate into any amount of Robux. Back when Roblox had both Robux and and tickets, one Robux was equal to 20 ticks. So when you are buying clothing for one ticks, it's literally nothing. You could buy 20 clothing items for it to even equal one Robux. So with these two clothing items being around on Roblox, still being one Robux, up until just a couple of days ago, that was actually quite important. It was monumental, the fact that we still had clothing existing on Roblox that was on sale for one Robux, but now both of them have, for some reason, it took them this long, been increased to what the price floor has been, which is five Robux, and that is the minimum that any clothing can be sold within the entire catalog. You can never post anything or sell anything for under five Robux, and now the same goes for the jeans and the black slap. The jeans, by the way, are a part of Builderman's like original outfit before he changed into the wolf or whatever he is right now. He might still be wearing them. I don't really know. I don't keep up on Builderman's outfit unless he magically transforms into a wolf. But they were a part of his original outfit. He, it's, it's what he wore. They were posted into the catalogue in 2013. They were originally 10 Robux, which is 
like I said, like half of one Robux. So anyone could go into the catalogue and for the three years that they were 10 ticks, anyone could buy them for 10 ticks until they decided to remove ticks in 2016, which is when they just automatically switched to being one Robux up until a few days ago when they, for some reason, have now changed it to be five Robux. The same goes for the Black Slacks. They were also put on sale into the catalogue on the very same day back in 2013. They were also originally 10 ticks until ticks got removed when they were changed to one Robux and then a few days ago they were changed to five Robux and that is like the entire history behind both of these items. And I think that's the end of that. Like I really do think that these were the last cheapest items on the entirety of Roblox and now all of them are a minimum of five Robux and you can never find anything cheaper than that unless you buy something for free which uh, technically doesn't count I definitely wouldn't count those things but when it comes to clothing on Roblox none of them will ever be below five Robux ever again and like I said they have gone too far I know that we were being all sarcastic and joking and everything in the beginning but I'm being serious this is actually kind of sad to see especially being someone who was around when clothing could be that cheap and even cheaper when everything could be cheaper than one Robux like that was the peak of Roblox they will absolutely never be back up there ever again and especially not after these changes because Roblox inflation has definitely gone too far so please the comments is the place to go tell me what you guys think about Roblox changing the last items that were one Robux into now being five Robux thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one